All right, we're in. This is Where Dirty Gaming's 32 gigabyte version 1.2. Um, he's been making a uh, recall box at first, and he's converted some things over to RetroPie now. And um, what he's done here is he took his previous image, which was already great. It was a 32 gigabyte with close to 10,000 games on it. And now uh, we have all those same games, but he has the new Ruckage theme, the Super NES Classic theme. So you've probably seen that I've done some videos in the past couple weeks that have an SNES Classic look to them. And, uh, but they only had the SNES Classic games on them. So this image is going to give you all the games. So not only do you have the hack games and the, and the beta and the alpha games, things like that, but you're also in the Super Nintendo going to have the full collection inside of here. So here you go, all the box art. The reason you can have 9,000 games on a 32 gigabyte SD card is because you're only using the um, box art. You're not using any video snaps. And a lot of these systems don't require a lot of space. Um, speaking of systems and Super Nintendo Classic, you know, a lot of games like Super Street Fighter Alpha and um, Alien vs. Predator and a few other games people are having issues with converting their SNES Classic over. So with this image, it would give you full access, full, you know, the Raspberry Pi runs Super Nintendo, no problem whatsoever, the Raspberry Pi 3. So this image would be ready for you. Um, and then you have like 37 hack games, so Alex Kidd in Pancake World. Uh, these don't have uh, files, like uh, image files, but you get that little hacked thing right there. Um, something about this image, if you hard scroll, oh, it goes blank. I wonder if, if you get the, if you have the, uh... okay, so you remove the mushroom man on this one. Sometimes it says, you, the, <laughs> there's like a little message. But here we go, arcade, we got 2158, the 2600 Atari 648. 71 5200s, 63 7800s, Game & Watch 55, these are those little, uh, Games, where's the, where can you see the outside? There you go. There's the, you see the little foldable games. Um, Mickey Mouse is my favorite of these. If you ever want to try one, play this one. You have to catch the eggs. You have to help Mickey catch those eggs. So, game worth checking out. Sega Game Gear, 249. Then you have the Hack Game Gear games, you got four. Sonic Drift. Game Boy, you got 490. Game Boy Advance, you got 1,068. Game Boy Advance hacked games. So again, these are some like games that people have altered or hacked, changed some things on them. Game Boy Color, 528. Game Boy Hacks, 19. A lot of people like playing the, the Pokemon hack games. Gives for a different new experience on those great Pokemon classics. Sega Genesis hacked, 191. A lot of hack games there. Sega Master System, 267. Uh, Sega Mega Drive, and it's really cool, it tells you when the system was released as well, you know, Master System 86, Mega Drive 88, um, 819 for the Mega Drive, that's going to be your Sega Genesis as well, it's kind of inconsistent that it says Sega Genesis here and then Sega Ma Mega Drive here, that's maybe one small complaint, like what the heck, you're confusing us, uh, MSX 649, Nintendo 64, all 303, this is the whole entire collection, um, these all these games are not going to run on the Raspberry Pi 3. You, I did a video on why the Raspberry Pi why does not run Nintendo 64 games. It is a hardware issue. It is not an emulation issue, because uh, if you put uh, Project Hyper Pi, not Hyper Pi, but Project 64 on your computer, it'll run the majority of the Nintendo 64 games, including the well loved 007 with all those great single player and multiplayer uh, campaigns. NES 792. NES Hacks 6, PC Engine 303, Pixel is the Linux operating system if you want to put like a mouse and keyboard on your thing, and then ports, you can install Mario War here for free, you can install um, Kodi, it's already on here, but if you want to add Kodi, a uh, different version of Kodi, you can, you can install add-ons, it does have a power button as well, you can click in here, you have a system restart and shutdown shortcut, that's really cool, a little added bonus, you can also get to that by just hitting start, quit and then shut down but for like kids and things like that people who want simplicity that's definitely a bonus and uh, I haven't said this yet but this is a big selling point on this image is it already has all the scripts pre-installed so if you want to add background music you would just click here drag and drop some background music on your Wi-Fi or plug it into your network and you're all set um, some other things you can do is GPIO shutdown so if you're running a Nest Pi case or something like that with a power switch you have that already available same thing if you want to run an external hard drive rather than using a micro SD card you have that script pre-installed on here as well and then uh, you get your shaders and bezels and you also have the team ZT installer already on there as well some other really cool things about this image that have changed besides the theme is there is loading screens and there is bezels as well so um, 
This is a great game that supposedly isn't working that great on the SNES Classic, but it's a great game, which is Rock and Roll Racing. So let's just show how awesome the Raspberry Pi is here. Play some Rock and Roll Racing. So we just launched it. There's our loading screen custom so super nintendo now loading you can press the a button at any time to change resolution or anything like that and uh, once you're in here we should see a bezel yeah so there you go so you have the bezels and it looks like there's a shader installed as well so this is going to have some sort of, yeah see how it's kind of got scan lines on it um, you could change that really quickly by pressing select and Oh, I hit reset select and X on your button you would just go down to uh, quick menu shaders and uh, load shader and you can change all your shaders here or I believe you should be able to just remove any shaders stock let's go to stock apply go back resume and we got rid of that shader that we had before so now we're playing just normal and the image is not stretched here which is nice let's buy it I'll take that 20,000 no problem let's rock and roll oh hit the wrong button I thought I had weapons in this game. No, I guess I have to find them first. Ooh, drifting out of control. I got something. Oh, that didn't seem good. There we go. There you have it. First place, Cyberhawk. All right, so that's working just fine. Um, there is no... It does have your last played. So you can see all the previously played things, Cody, X-Men, X-Men 2 player, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. You got SNK vs. Capcom, great game. Twin Cobra 2, great game. So you can see what the last games that were played, Mortal Kombat 3. A lot of great games there. You can do your favorites, you can add more to your favorites, and then you can just do all games. The nice thing about all games is you should be able to see what system it's for. Yeah. So it says GBA, Arcade, Arcade, MSX, NES, and it'll scroll to tell you what system it's from. So I can see that this is an arcade game, for example. Let's look at the arcade launch screen and the arcade bezel. So there you go. We've got the arcade launch loading screen. And there you go. You got your main TV right there. It's just um, select to add credits, start. And now you're three, two, one, let's go. Let's see if we can do this first try. The main thing is that nobody gets in our way. Don't get in our way here. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Hit some cones. Almost hit that guy. We're still good. We're still good. 10 out of 10. We're Oh, not so good. Maybe like 2 out of 10 right now. We got another jump coming up, I think. We got a 90 degree. Oh, not so well. Scrubbing off that speed. That's not good. You don't want to scrub off any speed. You want to keep it moving. Oh boy. Here we go. S turn. We got five seconds. Four, three, two. We made it. Within one second, 30. No, 23 seconds. One second and 1.23. All right. Cool. So that's a cool little game. Check it out. So here you have it, the uh, Weird Dirty Game in version 1.2. It keeps getting better and better. This is every system from the 2600, including Game & Watch, the hacks, um, up to Nintendo 64. You don't have any PlayStation games. The main reason for that is it just wouldn't, it would take up way too much space. The other thing that's omitted is Sonic, not Sonic, but Sega CD, which has Sonic CD on it, um, as well as um, uh, TurboGrafx CD, because a lot of the CD-based games had a lot of data. So... Um, you know, there those are are removed. You would need to go up to 64 gigabyte to fit that many games on here. Um, but that's why it has all it has almost 10,000 games is because of the system choice, which is a great choice. So I'm gonna have to give this one a solid A. Like it is for a 32 gig with the most recent themes. It has the scripts installed. It has a beautiful layout here. Uh, you could do screensavers as the latest RetroPie. 
out of the box i didn't have to fix a single thing the box art is there for you a great selection from the the atari all the way up to the nintendo 64 and no one is going to be left out here as far as the people who want everything because everything is here right there's some images where it's like oh i wish i had this game or i wish i had that uh, I don't think that's going to be the case here. So for those reasons, two thumbs up, A on this one. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.